welcome to Mokshika Academy channel. Today in this video we are going to learn about the important central government schemes which was launched in the year 2020. Let us start. The first scheme is Vivat Se Vishwa scheme. It means no dispute but trust. This scheme is launched by Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaram on February 2020. This scheme's main objective is to settle the large number of pending direct tax cases. That means a tax player taxpayer would be required to pay only the amount of disputed tax and will get complete year of interest and penalty provided he pays by 31st March 2020 and this scheme is remained open till 30th June 2020. Next scheme is Suposhtit Ma Abhiyan. This scheme was launched on February 2020 by Loka Sabha Speaker Om Birla. This scheme was launched from Kota district from Rajasthan state. This uh, scheme's main objective is to create malnutrition free India. The campaign will not only look after pregnant women but also newborn babies. Next scheme is eGram Swaraj Portal and Swamitva Scheme. This was launched on 24th April, which is also celebrated as National Panchayati Raj Day 2020. It was launched by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi through video conferencing. Swamitva means survey of village Abadi and mapping with improvised technology in village areas here uh, there is a some spelling mistake that is this is v not w this main objective is to creation of accurate land record for rural planning this uh, this scheme was uh, is launched on national panchayat raj keeping on in the mind about a uh, rural areas Next scheme is Atman Nirbar Bharat Abhiyan. This scheme was launched on 12th May 2020 by our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. Its main objective is for self-reliant India. He announced the special economic and comprehensive package of rupees 20 lakh crore or equivalent to 10% of India's GDP to fight COVID-19 pandemic in India. All the schemes which were announced in 2020 and 2021, these schemes are related or these schemes were launched due to COVID-19 pandemic. Next scheme is Garibi Kalyan Rojgar Abhiyan. The name itself says Rojgar means employees. For the welfare of employees, this scheme was launched. This was launched on 20th June 2020 by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi through video conferencing. This main object, this scheme's main objective is to boost employment and opportunities for the migrant workers who returned to the villages due to COVID-19 pandemic. Next scheme, scheme is PM. Swan Nidhi Yojan. PM Swan Nidhi Yojan means Pradhan Mantri Street Vendors Atma Nirbar Nidhi Yojan. Here for to for the welfare of street vendors, this scheme was launched and this scheme was funded by Union Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs and launched on 1st June 2020. This scheme's main objective is to distribute loan to 3, 3 lakh poor street vendors selling goods on roads and tracks next scheme is yukti 2.0 this was launched on 23rd june 2020 by sri ramesh pokrial or nishank from hrd former hrd minister yukti 2.0 is the extension version of yukti which was launched on 11th april 2020 
ट्वेंटी दिस मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू हेल्प सिस्टमैटिकल असिमुलेट टेक्नोलॉजीज हैविंग कमर्शियल पोटेंशियल एंड इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू इनक्यूबेटेड स्टार्टअप्स इन आईआर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट दिस मेन स्कीम इज टू फॉर द हेल्प द स्टार्टअप्स इन हाइयर एजुकेशन सिस्टम इन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन युक्ति इज एंग इंडिया कॉम्बैक्टिंग कोविड विथ नॉलेज technology the most startup is was needed next is national education policy 2020 in short nep 2020 uh, it was approved in july 2020 this main key feature is to structure i educational in the manner of 5 5 plus 3 plus 3 four structure teaching up to at least grade 5 to be in mother tongue or regional language in karnataka nep was launched on 23rd august 2020 and karnataka is the first state to adopt national education policy and mysore university is the first university to adopt national education policy next is to lip international program the urban learning internship program is shortly known as to lip it was launched on 4th june 2020 organized launched by hrd minister and minister of housing and urban affair and also all india council of technical education its main program for providing internship opportunities to fresh graduates in urban local bodies and small cities across the country next scheme is swades initiative it was launched on june 2020 a joint initiative of the minister of skill development and entrepreneurship the minister of civil aviation and minister of external affairs here you can see three different departments together these three departments launched the scheme swades its main objective is to making the best of the skilled workforce returning to the country due to pandemic and empowering the returning citizens with relevant employment opportunities the one who are returning from other countries for the uh, for a nation for their mother motherhood country for providing them a good or relevant employment opportunity this scheme was launched the mainly the countries which uh, from countries the other citizens or peoples who were returning to india are from UAE Oman Qatar Kuwait and Saudi Arabia the data suggests that the states which are showing highest returning labor are from other countries to our country was for they are Kerala Tamil Nadu Maharashtra Karnataka and Telangana sahakar mitra scheme sahakar mitra scheme was launched on 11th june 2020 by the union minister of agriculture and farmers welfare it's a scheme on internship program which is which is also called as sip initiative by national cooperative development corporation by young professionals will provide the young professionals an opportunity of practical exposure and learning from the working of ncdc and cooperative as paid intern next scheme is asim asim means atmanirbhar skilled employee employer mapping this scheme was launched on 10th july 2020 by minister of skill development and entrepreneurship this scheme was established to provide employer with a platform to assess the availability of a skilled workforce and formulate their hiring plan mostly to bridge the demand and supply gap next scheme is transparent taxation honoring the honest scheme this was launched by our prime minister narendra modi through video conference on 13th august 2020 its aim is to making the tax system seamless painless faceless and gives the platform has a major reform like faceless assessment faceless appeal and taxpayers chatters
Next is National Digital Health Mission NDHM. This was launched on 15th August 2020 by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi digitally. This main objective is to digitalize health care by creating a country-wide digital health ecosystem. Under this system, every persons will be given with a health ID. In e health ID, each and every test or disease, whatever the person's uh, health record will be digitalized. Next scheme is Niryat Rin Vikas Yojan Nirvik Scheme, also called as Export Credit Insurance Scheme. It was announced by or launched by Nirmala Sitaram by our finance minister scheme prepared by the commerce and industry development. This schemes to provide enhanced insurance cover, reduced premium for small exports and simplified procedure and claim settlement. In this scheme, insurance cover percentage enhanced to 90% to 60%. Next Scheme is Kisan Rail Yojan. As the name indicates, rail means it is in, it, it always involves a railways. Indian Railways has started running Kisan Rail Trans service to transport perishable and agricultural product, including milk, meat, fish. This aim is to in, increase the income in farm sector by connecting production centers to market and consumption sector centers. This scheme was launched by Union Minister for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare flagged of first Kisan Rail on 7th August 2020 between Maharashtra to Maharashtra and Bihar. Next scheme is Mission Karma Yogi. Another name for this scheme is National Program for Civil Service Capacity Building launched by our Minister of Personnel, Public Grievance and Pensions and uh, launched on 2nd September 2020. Its main objective is to create a professional, well-trained and future-looking civil service that is imbued with a shared understanding of India's development, aspiration, national program and priorities. It consists of a six pillars mainly known as policy framework, institutional framework, competency framework, digital learning framework, the electronic human resource management system and the monitoring and evolution framework. These six pillars are major for Mission Karma Yogi scheme. Next scheme is Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampad Yojan. Matsya means it is related to fishery. This scheme was launched on 10th September 2020 by PM our Prime Minister Narendra Modi through video conference. This is implemented by the Department of Fisheries, Ministry of Fisheries and Animal Husbandry and Dairying. This scheme's main aim is to bring about blue revolution through sustainable and responsible development of fisheries sector in India. Next is app next scheme or it is also called as the app it is e gopala app this was launched on 10th september 2020 by our prime minister narendra modi this app's main objective or initiative is to managing lively stock including buying and selling of disease free germ plasm availability of quality breeding service uh, guiding farmers for animal nutrition treatment of uh, animals using ayurvedic medicines these are the instructions will be provided in this app. Next scheme is Gartak Fiber Scheme. Here fiber refers to digital or internet. This scheme was launched on September 2020, launched in the state Bihar. This uh, objective is to connect all 45,945 villages of Bihar with high speed optical fiber internet. And Bihar will be the first state in India to connect all villages by internet OFC optical fiber connection next scheme is 
उत्पादन लिंकन अभियान दिस वॉज इनिशिएटेड बाई डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन एंड लिटरेसी अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट एंड नाउ मिनिस्टर ऑफ एजुकेशन दिस इज टू अचीव गोल ऑफ टोटल लिटरेसी बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी द टू इम्पार्ट फंक्शनल लिटरेसी ऑफ टू फिफ्टी लैक अडल्ट इलिटरेट्स एज फिफ्टीन एंड अबो अंडर अ बेसिक लिटरेसी प्रोग्राम फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ वन ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी वन नेक्स्ट स्कीम इज टास्क प्रोजेक्ट strengthening teaching learning and result for state this scheme was approved on 14th october 2020 project with the total project cost of 5718 crores to be implemented by department of school education literacy minister of education this aim is to improve the overall monitoring measurement activities in the indian school education system through inventions in selected states Next scheme is Kapila campaign Kalam program for intellectual property literacy and awareness this was launched on 15th October 2020 which is also uh, recognized as National Innovation Day 15th October is uh, recognized as National Innovation Day launched by our education minister Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank its aim is to intellectual property literacy creating patent awareness next scheme is aishman sarkar scheme this was launched by union minister of state for agriculture on 19th october 2020 this scheme is main aim is to deliver the health care for to places in rural scheme functions under minister of agriculture and farmers next scheme is sarkar pragya initiative this was launched on 24th november 2020 launched by narendra singh tomar a union minister of agriculture and farmer welfare this main aim is to impart training to primary cooperative societies in rural area the schemes which we learned in the uh, which we are uh, seen in the videos are the major important schemes and in the exam point of view you have to remember the scheme name abbreviation and the minister who launched the scheme and the date these are the important topics you have to remember for your exam point of view thank you hello everyone welcome to mokshika academy channel Today in this video we are going to learn about the important schemes launched in the year 2021 by our central government. First one is Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. This is a 3.0 version means third version. First Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Kalyan Yojana was launched in the year 2015 and in second one in the 2016 to 2020 and the third one was launched on January 15th 2021 this scheme was launched by minister of skill development and entrepreneurship at the time of launch dr mahendra nath pandey was the minister of skill development and entrepreneurship at present shri dharmendra pradhan is the minister this scheme is to uh, provide or uh, the main aim is to empower india's youth with employable skills to provide a skills for the youth this scheme was launched next scheme is pradhan mantri atmanirbhar swasth bharat yojana in 2020 you may heard the name atmanirbhar several times it is also a, a one of the schemes launched in the year 2020 by our prime minister narendra modi pradhan mantri atmanirbhar swasth bharat yojana was announced on 1st february 2021 by nirmala sitaram minister of health and minister of health and family welfare nirmala sitaram is the minister of finance financial department this scheme objective is to strengthen health care system throughout india next scheme is mega investment textile park it is also mentioned as mitra launched on february 2021 by prime minister of textiles piyush goyal 
This scheme's main objective is to make Indian textiles industry globally competitive, attract large investments, boost employment generation and export. Next is Swachata Sarathi Fellowship. This was launched by the Office of the Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India. Principal Scientific Advisor of Government of India is Professor K. Vijay Raghavan. Launch date is March 1st, 2021. This scheme mainly focuses on waste management. In this scheme, there are three, three categories. Category A, Category B and Category C. Category A is to open is open to the school students from 9th to 12th standard who works on waste management. Category B o is to college students that is UG, PG, research students who engaged in waste management community work. And Category C is open for all the other citizen communities who works or who needed a job for the work in a waste management next is gram ujjal ujjal means it's a for a brightness this scheme was launched by minister of power launched on march 2021 present union minister of power is raj kumar singh this scheme mainly distributes uh, mainly for uh, bihar uttar pradesh andhra pradesh maharashtra and gujarat means at first phase, these five states are being selected or chosen for this scheme. This scheme's aim is to provide 1 crore 50 lakh LED bulbs in rural area at cost of 10 rupees per bulb. Next is Startup India Seed Fund Scheme. This was launched on 19th. April 2021 and Minister of Commerce and Industry Department is the main pillar of this scheme and present minister is Sri Piyush Goyal. This scheme's main objective is to provide financial assistance to startups for proof of concept, prototype development, product trial, market entry and commercialization. Swamiya special window for affordable and mid income housing scheme or fund this was launched this was launched on 13th may 2021 union minister for finance and corporate affairs shrimati nirmala sita ram over handed over this scheme this scheme's main objective is to provide large state funding to the stressed affordable and middle income housing projects throughout the country next is fame india phase 2 this this scheme is faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles this scheme mainly is moto is on major on electric vehicles Phase 1 was started in 2015 and was completed on 31st March 2019. Phase 2 starts from April will be completed by 31st March 2022. Current Union Minister of Heavy Industry is Mahendranath Pandey. Next is UA scheme, Young Upcoming and Versatile Authors. This was launched by Minister of Education, Department of Higher Education, launched in May 2021. This main aim is to, or to promote reading, writing and book culture in the country. In this scheme, at starting or a phase 1, 75 authors will be selected and trained. This scheme is a part of India at 75 project. Azadi ki Amrit Mahotsav. Ek Bharat Shreshta Bharat is the promoting scheme. Yes, Digital India. This scheme completed 6 years on July 1st, 2021. Launched in the year July. Launched in the year July 1st, 2015. Its main objective is to ensure the government service are made available to the citizens electronically to improve online infrastructure to provide to, to make the country digitally empowered. At the time of launch, Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad was the Minister of 
Inform Electronics and Information Technology. At present, Shri Ashwini Vaishnav is the minister. Next is Satat Scheme. It is also known as su Sustainable Alternative Towards Affordable Transportation. It was launched by Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas on October 1st, 2018 to help India leap ahead towards a greener tomorrow. At the time of launch, the Minister of Petroleum and Nat Natural Gas was Dharmendra Pradhan. Present Shri Hardip Singh Puri is the minister. Next scheme is Central Government Health Scheme. Launched on June 1st, 2021, uh, its main objective is to digi digitalization of healthcare service throughout the country. At the time of launch, Dr. Harshwardhan was the Minister of Health and family welfare at present Sri Mansuk Manviya is the minister at this scheme central government health scheme there we can find the three main divisions that is central government health scheme umbrella scheme of Rashtriya Arogya Nidhi health minister discriminatory grant Next is Seed Mini Kit Program. This was launched on 2nd June 2021. In this Seed Mini Kit, where, where higher yielding varieties of seeds were distributed to farmers. The Union Agriculture Minister is Narendra Singh Tomar. Next is Samvad Scheme, Support, Advocacy and Mental Health Intervention for Children in Vulnerable Circumstance and Distress. This main objective is, uh, is a national initiative and integrated resource that works in child protection, mental health and psychosocial care. The first phase was uh, the second, means The first phase, as already said, it was launched in the previous year, that is 2020. And the second phase was launched on August 2021 in Bangalore. Next is Technical Education Quality Improvement Program. TECIP was initiated by the Minister of Human Resource and Development, uh, now, Minister of Education is the assistance. It was started in 2002. Phase 3 of TECIP started on 1st April 2017 and it will be completed by 30th September 2021. It is going to replace the new program MERIT. Multidisciplinary Education and Research Improvement in Technical Education. To, this main objective of MERIT is to improve the technical education system in India. India and Bangladesh. This is not a scheme. Actually, uh, it's a program which was held in uh, for the friendship of uh, India and Bangladesh country. PM Narendra Modi paid a state visit to Bangladesh from 26th to 27th March 2021 to join the celebration of Golden Jubilee of Indi Independence of Bangladesh. You have Prime Minister of Bangladesh is Sheikh Hasina, President of Bangladesh is Mohammad Abdul Hamid. On this occasion, the Government of India announced 1000 Shubrano Jayanti Scholarship, the scholarship for Bangladeshi students who are pursuing education in India. This is the remembrance of as a 6th December as Maitri Divas as Bangladesh got independence on 6th December 1971. Saki One Stop Center. This was launched on 1st April 2015. This main objective is to support women affected by violence in public and private sectors. This is not only included for in India, out of India also. Like countries Australia, Canada, Singapore, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, UAE, and Saudi Arabia. Minister of Women and Child Development is Riti Zubain Irani. Next one is Pradhan Mantri Garibi Kalyan Anna Yojan. This scheme 
is to provide 5 kg free food grains per person per month to 80 crore beneficiaries were distributed free of cost for a period of 8 months from april to november 2020 in 2021 government of india had announced to implement the pradhan mantri garibi kalyan anna yojan for period of 2 months that is from may to june smile scheme smile men support for marginalized individual for livelihood and enterprises this scheme's main objective is to cover several comprehensive measures including welfare measures for person who are aged engaged in act of begging school innovation ambassador training program it is a training program for school teachers Arogya Dara 2.0 Arogya Dara 2.0 is a second phase or we can say it's a next version it's to increase to reach the ABPM GAY program to the poorest of the poor household in the country and to make the beneficiaries aware about the scheme next is Bharatiya next is Bharatiya Prakritik Krishi Padhati BK BPKP this is main objective is to promote organic farming throughout the country these are the schemes which were taken in the year 2021 means till 2021 is not completed up to till the schemes which have been launched we have mentioned in this video thank you